Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our sixth lecture of our free course ETAP. In today's lecture, we will create a simple electrical system and perform load flow analysis on ETAP. We will calculate sending and active power, sending and reactive power, losses, receiving and active power, receiving and reactive power, and then compare with the hand calculations. That means we can compare the results of the ETAB with the hand calculations. Before starting today's lecture, please subscribe the channel, like and share the video on your social media profiles. In this lecture, we will create this simple electrical system in which there is an infinity bus or a grid, then there is 33 kV bus and there is a 15 MVA transformer and then there is a lampered load up to bear MVA and a voltage bus of 11 kVA. The result is which we will get after the performing the load flow analysis in ETAB is these results and here we will obtain this result from sending and active power, reactive power, power factor, voltage sending end and the voltage receiving sending end that is in per unit system and this is same data from receiving end and then we will compare with the hand calculation these results with hand calculations this is the window of a tab first of all we will enable the in enable one line auto filters we will take the grid first of all this is a grid then we will take a bus then we will take a transformer then another bus and then we will take it the lump load first of all we will change the rating of this transformer it is 33 kva 33 volt Okay, and this will be 33. Okay, we will check here the voltage of this bus, it is 33. Okay, this is the transformer. We can open the editor of transformer and take to writing this primary is 33 and secondary is 11.55 MVA is 15 and impedance here we will take the impedance 10 percent and typical uh, um, x by r ratio and then click ok then here we will take the voltage bus it is 11 click ok then this is a lump load take the name palette 11 rating is 11 MVA is 12 at power factor is 80 and here two types of loads are shown one is the load type is constant kv that is the motor load you can see 80 percent uh, is motor load and 20 percent is constant z that is the static load we can explain in the coming lectures about this load type what is constant kv and what is constant z then okay now we will perform the load flow analysis You can see here the result is we can adjust the the sending and power is uh, 9.6 megawatt or 961.9 kilowatt and sending and reactive power is 8243 kilovolt uh, reactive and the 
receiving end power is 9566 and reactor is 7174 that the it is this bus the voltage on this bus is 0 0.99 per unit or 99 percent of the 100 percent this is the 100 percent and one per unit and these are the uh, losses 53.4 and 10.69 same result is what we have shown you in my excel sheet here 9.619 that is the sending end and receiving 8243 is rate to call is 843 and receiving end is 9566 95, same the result has been obtained here now if you want to display here the percentage impedance also of a transformer you can go here to display transformer kv rating can be displayed okay here the voltage is also displayed 33 by 11.55 again now the percentage impedance is also shown you can see here I can arrange it like this percentage impedance is z all these things are displayed if you want to anyone parameter to should they should not be displayed you can change it you can go from here the display option is display options and accordingly you can select what you want to display what you want do not want to display all these things are mentioned in here in ac system ac dc system whatever you want to show whatever you want to hide you can control it here now <coughs> we will compare these uh, results with the hand calculations in the next lecture which is coming in the next week there we can calculate the calculations using excel sheet and then compare with the ATAP results thank you